Welcome back guys to Savvy Charmed Life. I'm Tracy and this is our most anticipated video for um, 2021 and that is my flip through for my A5 Stology bullet journal for the second half of 2020. Um, these are the most popular videos on my YouTube channel are whenever I do a flip through. Um, so I'm sure you guys are really excited and ready to, um, see the flip through. I will say that this is the chunkiest, um, Stology I have had so far. Um, and the reason is because I have been journaling, um, events and travel and that sort of thing by pasting in my Instax mini film. And these are thicker than, um, in the past I was basically just using my, my, um, HP sprocket and that, that film is thinner, but I've been pasting, uh, these into my planner, um, and have quite a few of them. So it really stretched this one out. So once again, I've been pretty much sticking to doing six month installment. So I've been doing December, I mean, January to June and then July to December. So this is the second half of 2020. This was a Hufflepuff theme. This is an A5 Stology bullet journal. And this is the first time that I used an A5. And I have really enjoyed having more space. Um, it's really not that much bigger. I'm going to show you guys an example. So this is my first half of 2020 Stology, which was a B6 size. So it is a good bit bigger, but overall it's not a huge difference for me, but you will see the difference in how much thicker <laughs> it got. Um, and like I said, um, I did put some Instax minis in here. So I did do Instax minis in here, but some of them were printed. Some of them were, you, I printed using my, um, uh, HP sprocket and that I just don't think I journaled quite as much the first half of 2020. So I didn't really chunk this one up as quite as much, but this one, we traveled more this past six months than we did the first half of 2020. Um, and I journaled a lot more. So there's definitely a lot more thickness to it. Um, this is what happened to the spine. Um, it definitely thickened up. Let me show you my new Stology. Um, so you can kind of see what it originally looks like. So this is my new Stology, um, which is also an A5. And this is the spine. This is how it looks when it's relatively fresh and new with a little um, uh, things inserted so far. Um, so this is what the binding originally looks like. Um, and this is what it looks like after it has been stretched. One of the things that I love about Stology is that they stretch really, really well. Um, they grow with you. They chunk up pretty um, well without tearing or stretching the binding too much. So that's kind of what uh, it looks like after. And like I said, I did a lot of journaling in this Stology. Um, lots of photographs, um, lots of tip-ins, lots of little add-ins here and there. Um, so this is what it looks like when it is fully used. I didn't 100% use it. There are a few pages at the very back that I didn't use, but overall, for the most part, I used the entire journal for the six months. So now we're going to start the flip through. All right. So I am not going to remember all of the shops and everything that all of these stickers and things, tippins and everything came from. So what I'll do is I will link below, um, the setup video as well as links to all of the products from the previous video from the setup. Um, because I'm not going to remember when we're doing the flip through, but this was a Harry Potter themed specifically more geared towards Hufflepuff because that is the house that I am in, Stology. So I did have a cute little Badger vinyl sticker and then I got my initials, like a monogram for the front cover. I did choose the yellow color in the A5. I will say one thing that I love about the A5 versus the 
B6 size is that the A5 comes in more colors. So you can get it in black like this, you can get it in yellow, <clears throat> you can get it in yellow, you can get it in blue like the one that I got for this um, installment. Um, I can't remember what the, I was thinking that you can also get it in red, but I may be mistaken. Um, maybe I'll put like a little note here when I look up and I can tell you like all the other colors, but blue, yellow, black. And like I said, I was thinking red for some reason, but don't hold me to that. But, um, so this one I got in yellow, um, which was fitting for Hufflepuff. Um, the inside cover, I did my, um, washi tape cover just on the left hand side and I got some, some of these I already had like this floral one and this green right here, but these others were Hufflepuff samplers that I got. So this like Simply Gilded-esque ones I got were a sampler. Um, the little stars was a sampler and then these gold foil ones were a sampler. This one right here, this more of like a mustard yellow. This one is from Kina Prints. Um, but yeah, so I just did a Hufflepuff themed washi cover. And then on this side, I put, tipped in this, um, uh, journal card and I can't really guess it. I can't remember what shop this is from. Um, I know I've seen this image in other shops before. Um, but this is just like a little Hufflepuff journal card and I um, taped it in and also um, added some of the uh, gold foil washi tape and then this little die cut with my name um, that's Harry Potter themed is from Nerdy Paper Co. And then on this side I just uh, downloaded, this is like a digital download from Etsy, um, this Hufflepuff pride image and then I printed it onto some yellow vellum and then just attached it on this inside cover with some of the Kina Prince washi tape. Um, here was my um, cover page, uh, what do you call it, nameplate page, um, but just where it says the dates from from where, when it started till when, and this journal belongs to, and then it just has my name, my phone number, and then like a little like reward on it. And then I just did one page for my index. Um, I was worried about running out of room, so I wrote like really, really small, um, but it really just has all of the pages for all of my collections. And then I outlined as well the page numbers that have my, like what pages July took up and what page is August and so on. And then if there was anything like specific information that I wanted to refer to, then I also wrote the page number for that. Um, this is some vellum that I made myself. It actually like printed kind of badly when I printed it, but this was a digital image that I purchased on Etsy and then printed it on some just um, opaque um, vellum that I purchased and added that in with some tape. And then I added in this picture one. I think I got this idea from Doxina's channel, um, but you can just buy these. These you can get at like Michael's, you can get them online, but they are for the um, Happy Planner, I think. Yeah, they're for the Happy Planner. So I just attached it with some double-sided tape and then just put some little pictures in the pockets of some things that are important to me, me and my niece, me and my husband, and Diagon and Alex. This is Kevin and our dog Kaylin, and then here's Kaylin as well. Kaylin passed away a few weeks ago, um, and then this is me and Rapunzel at Disney World. And then this is from Pottermore. Um, it's not Pottermore anymore. I think it's just like the Wizarding World but it is a picture of the Hufflepuff common room um, that is really like a wallpaper for your phone, but I just printed it and attached it with some washi tape. This was my future log. 
So I just drew some boxes of differing sizes and then these stickers here for the months of the year are from Oh Hello Stationery Co. Um, so I just did this for the months that I was currently in and then I added this. I think this is a printable, I think. I can't remember from what shop. Um, that I just did like a little Dutch door where I put the 2020 and then the first half of 2021 calendar. And then I just left myself some space to add some important dates for 2021 as well on the feature log. And then just decorated with some of the washi tape as well and this little sticker that I just had with my samplers that I thought kind of looked like, you know, bottles of, of you know, spell bottles or something like that, potion bottles. Um, you will see a lot of things in this installment of my Stology that I just didn't do or didn't finish. So I made this goals page and then I was supposed to put like a different goal for each part of my life on each petal. I never filled it out. Um, I also was going to do a year in pixels for my moods. I did not fill it out. I was trying to like backtrack and fill it out earlier because technically this started in July. So I filled it out for July and then I tried going back to fill out based on what my moods were like on daily pages from my previous ology. I was trying to like fill in what I thought my mood was those particular days, um, but I never finished filling it out. Um, I'm really bad about uh, mood trackers. Mood trackers just don't really work for me. It's hard for me to sometimes identify what my particular mood was in a day. I feel like my mood kind of like changes. Like maybe I'll be in kind of a melancholy mood in the morning, um, a really frustrated mood in the afternoon, but then a hopeful mood at night, you know? So I feel like it's kind of pointless, at least for me to try to m track like an overall mood for the entire day. Um, once again, I just um, decorated with some of my washi tapes. Um, and then I tried to draw another little flower here. And these little stickers are from Nerdy Paper Co. This is another failure. I did really like this page. This was a printable that I just attached. I don't know what made me think in a million years that I would read enough books <laughs> either read or listen to enough, enough books to fill out two of these pages. Um, and I haven't even, like, we finished reading, rereading for the hundredth time Goblet of Fire. Um, I've been reading the Harry Potter books aloud to my husband. Um, and then we started reading Order of Phoenix and still haven't finished it. Um, and I started re-listening to Abandoned by Meg Cabot on my Audible app, um, but I haven't finished it yet. So just not listening to books. Um, this is a um, printable um, that I just printed onto some vellum. So I really liked the quote here and I thought it worked really well for books to read. Words are, in, not so hum in my not so humble opinion, our most inexhaustible source of magic, capable of both inflicting injury and remedying it. Um, and then I also added some of my little Kina Prince stickers and then um, I had this like digital paper pack, like Harry Potter digital paper pack that I um, cut some images out and just pasted them as decoration on some pages. So books to read was a total fail. And like I said, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, why did I think I would be able to fill up two pages worth of books? Apparently I was really feeling inspired to read more this past six months and it didn't happen. Um, I did fill this out. I did watch a lot of stuff. I know I watched more movies than this, but these are the ones that I listed. Um, we re-watched Quest for Camelot and Titan AE. I did watch Enola Holmes on Netflix. I watched the new Rebecca and didn't care for it. <laughs> I watched Troop Zero, Holiday. Midnight at the Magnolia, which I haven't rated yet. And I know I watched more, so I might need to fill this in and try to like look up and see like what other movies that I actually watched. I watched a lot of shows. We re-watched re Doctor Who season one. Um, we're still working on Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but we did finish um, season one. I watched The Babysitter's Club. I started watching Siren. It was just a show that was on Netflix. I didn't really care for it. Doctor Who season two, Mandalorian season one. We relate to the game with the Mandalorian. Um, but love it, of course. 
Um, I did watch Julian the Phantoms, loved it. We finished Lucifer season one. We're on season two right now. We really like Lucifer. I watched Legacies season one and season two. I really liked season one. Kind of like, eh, about season two, but still like it. Um, Queen's Gambit was awesome. Mandalorian season two was awesome. I watched this show called The Miniaturist, which I think I found out because of watching Queen's Gambit. Oh, I did watch Emma. I need to add Emma to this list um, because of the actress whose name I'm forgetting right now, but she's in Miniaturist too, and it was actually pretty good. And then I did just watch Bridgerton just before the end of the calendar year. So um, I probably watched more shows that I didn't have room to actually fit on the movie tracker this past year. Um, these boxes were for recommendations or things that I wanted to watch. And then in theory, once I watched it, watched it, it would be put here. So this setup I actually liked and did use and did do another version of this in my next installment. I also did a, this is from that Harry Potter paper pack I was telling you about. I did do a, what I'm watching, basically, what are my favorites? What am I frequenting or coming back to or or liking on a regular basis so these were all of the youtube channels i watched a lot um lauren norris miss mojo twins the new trend modern girls sierra schultz i think a bunch of people like the twins the new trend started being like recommended to um people it's these two twins um, that I think, I'm trying to remember, I think they live in like Chicago, but they're like young guys, you know, they're like, they may not even be millennials. They may be like whatever, like older, the older age for whatever the next generation is. I can't remember. What is the next generation called? Um, they may not be millennials. They may be like older teenagers or young twenties. Um, but they're reacting to songs and music videos that they've never heard or seen before and it's just really funny <laughs> watching their reactions and they'll literally watch any genre um they're not specific about genre and if they like something like you know like they're very appreciative of like good music and it's it's just fun to watch them react to things um i like re watching reaction videos um but they kind of blew up this past year like their channel like i think when i started watching them they only had like 20,000 subscribers and now they've probably got like a million or something like they blew up um modern girls which you guys have heard me mention before uh Sierra Schultz, Justine K, Amanda Rachley, Claudia Joseph, Apples and Tiaras, Planning with K, um Art and Fox's Torn Marie and Doxina um there's more than that too but these are just the ones that like when their videos like pop up like I watch them I actually haven't watched one of theirs in a while and I've kind of been off Lauren Norris for a little while but like each of these I had like a period of time at least where I was like watching them non-stop um these are all of the Instagram um people, handles, whatever accounts that I frequently like, what they're posting. Um, and then these are the podcasts that I'm listening to. I restarted Magnus Archives and just finished season two. And I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Um, really like it. If you like um, horror, mystery, like I'm not a horror movie person. Like I don't like gore. I don't like watching psychological horror. Like, it, I literally have nightmares. Like, I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to watching things. But I'm like, I love the macabre. And I love, like, reading some horror and mystery. Like, I love Edgar Allan Poe. And I love, um, like, reading ghost stories. And I even like watching Ghost Hunter shows sometimes. Um, so, Magnus Archives is really good if you're, like like listening or reading scary stuff, but don't like watching it. <laughs> like it's like borderline could give me nightmares, but doesn't like, it's like on the edge. Um, I did start listening to Kamala Next in Line, um, all about like um, Kamala Harris's uh, career. Um, and kind of life story a little bit. So I think I have like one episode left in this series. Um, 
the Grown Up Kids podcast, which I think are on another break right now, but basically they're just like going through and watching all of the Disney movies like in order. So I have been listening to that. And then I kind of come and go with Swish and Flick. Uh, it gets kind of like overwhelming sticking with them for a while. So, but they basically go through all of the Harry Potter books chapter by chapter and each episode they go through a chapter. So I'm like a couple of books behind them. Facebook, I gave up. I got off Facebook like a couple of months into quarantine and haven't been back and I'm loving it. Like I, I don't know if it's a millennial thing, but I've noticed that there's other like young Gen Xers, like millennials that also have just given it up. Like my brother has given up Facebook. Kevin, my husband, has, hasn't has been on Facebook for years. I don't even think my brother ever made a Facebook account. Um, I know lots of people like my age, like around my age and like maybe like younger than me that just are done with Facebook. Uh, so I have given it up and I'm so happy. And I know technically Instagram is owned by Facebook. So technically I'm still, uh, owned by Facebook <laughs> and I still have my Facebook account. I haven't closed it because I don't want to lose all the pictures and stuff that I have, but I gave up Facebook and I am so much happier. You have no idea how freeing it is to not be on Facebook anymore. So nothing's there because I'm not following. I think I'm still technically like on some group pages. Um, but I just, don't get on it anymore. I deleted the app. Don't get on it unless I have to. Um, my playlist, I didn't really do much with. I didn't really listen to any new music. I listened to the Julie and the Phantoms soundtrack a good bit. Um, and I did start listening to Evermore, even though I haven't really been listening to it a lot. Um, I haven't listened to it enough to like really like be into it yet. Um, but really I've just been, I've been listening mostly to podcasts. Um, and every once in a while listening to some music, but I kind of like stopped. I mean, the whole time we were working from home, I just don't listen to things, you know? Um, so, uh, now that I'm back in my car again, I'm starting to listen to things more. So maybe I'll, I'll discover some new music that I like for 2021. I did use my social media tracker. Um, oh, and this is from Kina Prince. I'm pretty sure. It's either Kina Prince or Nerdy Paper Co. Actually, this is probably Nerdy Paper Co. I think this is Nerdy Paper Co. Um, these social media trackers, I can't remember where they're from, but I tracked my two accounts um, and I really did use both of them um, and liked seeing um, where I was, you know, uh, gaining followers from where I wasn't. I really loved tracking my followers on YouTube because that really went up a lot. Um, I started this YouTube channel in June um, and it went from 27 to 58 to 82, 140, 180, 223, and I'm now at um, 253 or 254. I can't remember where I'm at now, but uh, very proud of myself and so thankful to all of you guys for following me and wanting to be on this journey with me um, and enjoy watching the videos that I'm posting. So thank you again. Um, and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to welcome you to the Savvy Charmed Life family. Um, this is a just something I found online that I printed onto some paper and put it in here. I can't remember where I got it. This is from the digital paper pack, Harry Potter pack. Um, this is an exercise tracker that I started and then never, like, I start, I did it for, I guess, June and July and then just stopped. Um, so I didn't really do much with that. Another failure was these um, recipe um, pages that I did and I was going to track. I thought that I was gonna dive more into cooking the second half of 2020 and didn't. So many things that we thought we were gonna do that did not pan out for 2020. Um, but I thought this would be really fun. Like I was so excited because I used these little um, 
These were from the Harry Potter digital pack and they're like the little labels, like the Harry Potter labels. So you have like this Hippogriff, Tears, Cornish, Pixie, Popping Corn, um, Giggle Water. And then on these you have uh, Petrified Pufferfish Eyes and then a Pumpkin Juice Labels. I thought they fit really well for recipe pages. Um, I thought I was going to get into cooking and track like what my favorite recipes were. Um, it didn't happen. Like I literally, this is like one of my favorite recipes that I frequently come back to and I put that one down for main dish, but I literally didn't fill out. I didn't do anything new in 2020 as far as cooking goes. I'm boring. I know, but just an example of, once again, you don't have to be perfect. You are gonna try things in your bullet journals that aren't gonna pan out, and then you just won't, it's okay. It's like, don't beat yourself up about it. Just next bullet journal, don't don't include that kind of thing. Um, so it's always worth trying. And I really like how these spreads came out. I just didn't use them, so. Um, I did, though, use my Georgia Exploration Spread, which I'm considering doing one in my next, my 2021 um, January through July, but I haven't um, made one yet in that installment, um, but I really liked it. I did this, like, little, like, um, Hogwarts Express with this sign, I think this was in the digital paper pack and so is this, and I made this little Dutch door and a night bus ticket, and then I added like a little map of Georgia. And then I just stuck on pictures of the places that we went. So we visited Rome, Georgia, um, Cave Springs, the Rock Garden in Calhoun, Georgia, um, Woody Gap Vista in North Georgia, Blue Ridge Scenic Railway, so we basically, because I can't really travel afar, we wanted to start getting out of the house more. Um, uh, you know, one shelter in place was over um, and it was somewhat safe to travel locally. We started exploring places locally. Um, so I wanted to document some of that local travel here. And then this spread was my memory spread where I tried to do one for each month of the year. And I just realized I put actual, uh, these two I printed on my um, HP Sprocket because I forgot to save uh, Instax mini photos to put here. And I just realized instead of the months, <laughs> I need to write November and December here. I wrote captions instead of the months. But I basically, the plan was to do a photo for each month. So I did June, for some reason I skipped July, August, two pictures for September, October, two pictures for October, this is November and then this is December. So, um, this is just us at Mellow Mushroom. This is like, I think one of the, uh, it's, it's one of our favorite places to eat. It's like down the road so we can walk there. Um, this is Kaylin. Um, these are from our trip to Rome. Um, this is, I think just on one of our walks, um, one of our favorite walks in Roswell. And then this is when we visited, uh, Oakland Cemetery in Atlanta. This is from our trip to St. Augustine, Florida. And then this is the new little puppy that we're waiting to get at the end of February. So this is one of our pictures that we got for him in December. And then I had some blank pages. I thought maybe I would continue it and didn't. And then I was going to do a pain tracker. Once again, I told you guys, I just don't do well with year trackers. I did not do any yearly tracker. I did not do any yearly trackers in my new Stology for 2021 because trackers were a failure in this installment. I did do a wish list um, and I really kind of, the only thing that I wrote down that I was saving money for was for a MacBook Pro. I had a MacBook Air, but I needed one with more power on it, especially for like editing videos and stuff. Um, so I did get my MacBook Pro. Um, I did want the Instax Mini 90 and when my Instax Mini 70 died, I let myself get that. And this technically wasn't a wish list. Um, 
my lease ended, so I got a new car, but uh, it's a really nice one, and I'm really excited about my, I'm really loving my HRV so far. So technically, it wasn't really a wish list item. It was just like when my lease was over, I was going to be getting a new car anyway. So, um, but I put it on here because that is a big, you know, purchase. Um, and then these are just empty pages where I could have added more collections if I wanted to, but I didn't. Um, this was where uh, I got this from Planning with Kay. Um, and it's just like a little weekly schedule sticker um, that I put at the beginning of July. So, because at the end of July is when school started back. So, I actually started having a schedule again at one point. All right, so now we're going into the monthlies. All right, my dog who loves paper literally ate my journal a little bit. Um, she got into my planner bag um, my, uh, not my planner bag. She got into my work bag and when I had left it unzipped when we left the house, um, and she chewed part of the corner off. Um, but this was my setup for July. I actually decided to switch from my old, um, cover was a, I already sold it. Um, but it was a Harry Potter TN that was just more open. It didn't close. So I definitely for 2021 got a planner case that zips closed and that way my planner is more secure in my bag. Um, but this was my setup for July and um, this was a Harry Potter theme to start off my Harry Potter bullet journal. Um, I just used my July sticker from Oh Hello Stationery Co. I made this little um, string with little socks hanging from it and I have this stencil from I think it came from Nerdy Paper Co. but I couldn't really remember where the stencils came from but just these little shadows of Harry Potter and Dobby and I made a little print of Dobby as a free elf and then I printed this really pretty um, print um, this digital print onto some vellum here um, and then this was my month at a glance set up another one of my nerdy paper co badgers here and then this was my master to do um, and this was also on the Harry Potter stencil as well. These stickers are from Nerdy Paper Co. But yeah, so this was my Harry Potter setup. So this is what my monthly setups in this entire installment look like. So I have a cover page, sometimes a piece of vellum, my month at a glance. I always have a master to do and then I have like a little monthly overview where I have a area to list things I need to buy, um, what I'm reading currently, um, blog posts, and then uh, YouTube. That These lists do change later and I just realized I did read that book in July so I can add that to my very small list of books on that previous, that page earlier. Um, and then these were my weeklies. Um, this was one where I didn't use, I use a lot of sticker kits for my weeklies, um, but this one I drew myself, the weekly. Um, and then here I used a sticker kit. Um, this was using a stencil that I had and I just made little flying keys. And then I got a, um, what's it called? Is it a faux memo? Um, printer and so I printed some little uh, images as well and just kind of like drew my own week at a glance um, and I did do in this particular Stology bullet journal I did do weeklies where I was trying to memory plan and then at the end of the weekly spreads I just have like a running to-do list and journal section um, in my new Stology, I'm switching back to daily spreads, um, but I did do weeklies in this one. So this was using, I think, a Hobo Weeks kit. Um, I think this kit is from Crafts by Dorelia. But like I said, I really just memory planned um, my weeklies. Um, this was two weeks. Um, so I had one week here and then like a shorter week here and then ended it on the 31st. Um, and then did a little Dutch door with me. And I tried to have um, workout and no sugar trackers on each week. And then also the little week at, you know, weekly 
list tracker, whatever you want to call it, where I would put the meals that we had for that week. So that was kind of what each week looked like. And then at the end of the month, I had my um, journal and um, running to-do list for every day. Sometimes I'd use stickers and then I kind of just got to the point where I stopped using stickers for the days and just switched to just drawing them. Um, I wrote up finally my Harry Potter story for the Swish and Flick podcast. I don't know if it'll ever get read, read at the end of the, the podcast and I haven't gotten to the point where I would even know whether they've read it on the podcast yet or not, but I thought it would be nice to write out my Harry Potter story. So this is where I actually wrote it several pages. I know it's a lot. Um, my to-do list. Here I pasted in um, when I typed it up and sent it to Swish and Flick. So this is like the finished product <laughs> of my Harry Potter fan story. But like I said, just to-do lists. Sometimes I would do some drawing, but not really very much. Um, just lots of just running to-do lists. Um, this is a conference that I was like the key presenter at. So this was the agenda for the two days. Um, yeah, pretty much just typical bullet journal um, where you, I use a dot for um, tasks, an X through for when a task is finished, an arrow for a task that needs to be migrated, um, a line for a note, um, and then like a star for important, a star or an exclamation point. I think a star means priority, exclamation point is important a uh, clock face if there's a deadline. And then I'll just sometimes tip things in that I think, like I got the sweet letter from one of my past students that I helped, that I uh, administered the Braille challenge um, for him remotely. Um, and he sent me a thank you note. So I set, put that in there. July 31st was Harry Potter's birthday. And now we're into August. August was a Tangled Rapunzel theme. Um, so I tried to draw the Tangled Sun and put on another one of the Oh Hello Stationery Co. monthly stickers. Um, this was a like large full box like a double full box um, tangled sticker. And then I like put the little lanterns. Um, I wanted it to show when the Dutch door was closed, but with the lanterns floating up um, and then my month at a glance and then my follower growth here. My follower growth on each of the months is specifically for Savvy Charmed Life. And then this is my master to do. And I started splitting it between personal and work on this spread. And then I have shopping, reading, blog posts and YouTube. And I forgot to reread sometime. What I need to do, I realize, is I need to go into all of my week um, monthly setups and check and see if I was reading anything and add it to my collection for books I read. Some, this was like half and half Rapunzel kit and half um, an Oh Hello kit that was like purples and pinks that I felt like just worked for um, a Rapunzel theme. So those are all of my weekly spreads for August. I mean, yeah, for August. And then we're back to notes and running to-do lists. This is when I was doing um, Nimeth and Abacus with one of my students and was actually writing out the problems that we were doing. Um, I used the phone memo to print out um, some images from my phone. So messy. The back is, uh, like I said, just running to-do list. Very messy. Just 
kind of a brain dump, running to-do list, notes, and journaling. And we're on to September. Um, September, I wanted it to be like kind of like a calming, relaxing theme. So I drew this like front porch theme and then added these little stickers. And I can't remember who these are from, but I'll link them below. And then of course, another Oh Hello stationary Co sticker. I did added this. This is a printable that I found on Etsy and just printed it onto some vellum myself. I think it's so pretty and fits with the theme perfectly. This is my monthly overview. This is where I use some stickers from Planning with K kits as well. Um, and also used her, I started using her vertical date strips as well as her little um, calendar over you know, month blank calendars as well. And then I split up my master to do into work, personal, and YouTube here. Um, reading. Um, and then I changed it to reading, YouTube. And this was, the way I used it was, this was what my to-do list for YouTube was. And then these were the videos I actually posted for the month on YouTube. Shopping. And then I changed the, um, what did I do in August? I changed it from blog post because I pretty much stopped writing on my um, travel blog to just an ideas little notes section. And all of most of these stickers are from Planning with Kay. And I did for the first week of September, I really wanted to do a Harry Potter theme um, for returning to Hogwarts. So I did use a little Harry Potter kit. I think this kit was from, from Glam Planner. And then these little um, day of the week stickers are from Planning with Kay. But I tried to pick kits that I thought were calming and relaxing. Um, so this one's like a little uh, relaxing, you know, take it easy kit um, from uh, Sweet Kawhi Design that fit really well with the theme. And as you can see, there were some weeks that I just didn't memory plan. Um, which is probably another reason why I'm switching away from weekly spreads. There are some weekly spreads that I really filled it in and really memory planned. And then others where I just didn't touch the week at all. Like this one, when we were on vacation, you think I would have filled it out. And I picked this beautiful little like cabin theme um, sticker kit um, for our vacation week and then didn't fill it out at all, which is really sad. Happy first of September. And this is too. And I did start trying to decorate with washi tape and stickers, the journaling pages at this point. I started making my journal pages a little prettier. And then this was when I travel journaled our just day trip. We just, we went for a day, we didn't stay overnight. It's like less than an hour away. Um, our little day trip to Rome, Georgia. We went to this really beautiful cemetery there. They have a clock tower. We ate lunch. They have a really pretty river. And then like one of those like bridges where people put the locks on the bridge. And then there's this really pretty um, like a uh, rock. They call it a rock garden, but basically where they have created all of these like miniatures of um, uh, sites like cities and landmarks from all around the world um, have made little miniatures of them out of stone. It was like a really cool place and that's in Calhoun, Georgia. But like I said, I did start trying to make my weekly, my uh, spreads a little more uh, pretty because my uh, running to-do list and notes pages are just so bland and kind of messy so I did try to start decorating my um to-do list and journal pages um I became a patron again of Swish and Flick and got my stickers in the mail so I put those in my journal 
These were just from a walk that we took in the park one evening. This is uh, when I started journaling our trip to Blue Ridge, Georgia. We spent a week in the mountains at the end of September. So these are all the pictures from uh, our trip to Blue Ridge, Georgia. Um, we visited a winery one day. We visited the suspension bridge, which was really hard to get to, but was really cool when we got there. We ate at some really cool restaurants. We went on some um, scenic drives through the mountains. It was a really nice, relaxing trip. Um, we visited Amicalola Falls, which was really, really beautiful. And we had to visit the Sasquatch Museum, which was literally like down the road from where our cabin was. So, you know, it's like, why? Why not? Why not? Am I a believer now? <laughs> no, I'm not. But I did add in all of my little, you know, things from the Bigfoot Museum. And then we had dinner a couple of times with our friends, Chris and Brandy, who live in the North Georgia mountains. And now we're on to October. This was my October theme, which I kind of did like a guess what my theme is um, leading up to this plan with me. Um, and people did have a lot of really good guesses, especially because of the umbrellas. People thought maybe Umbrella Academy or um, Mary Poppins. Um, but it is Practical Magic, which is one of my favorite movies to watch during October. So this is the house from Practical Magic that I drew here. I did another little half Dutch door kind of thing and did my month at a glance with that, those planning with K vertical stickers and then drew the little umbrellas. Um, I thought it would work here because they jump off the roof um, holding onto the umbrellas. So I, I thought it worked having the umbrellas kind of like falling down from the roof a little bit. Um, this is from the movie when she lights the candles on the mantles so and drew a little fireplace. I still did personal work in YouTube for the master to do. I made a little vellum with one of my favorite quotes from the movie. My darling girl, when are you going to realize being normal is not necessarily a virtue. It rather denotes a lack of courage. Um, and then I kept with the reading section, YouTube section, shopping and ideas section. Um, and then drew, this is a little, um, I tried to draw the two young sisters walking up to the house. I did a little um, drawing like shadow um, of them. And then all of the weeklies, I tried to do like Halloween kind of themes that kind of went along with my favorite Halloween movies. So I thought this stop in for a spell kit from I think Creating and Co. Um, but I thought it fit for uh, Practical Magic still. This was my Corpse Bride week. This was my Hocus Pocus week. This one's from Sweet Quiet Design, which is probably obvious. And then I think this one I was trying to do Halloween Town. It didn't really fit, but there was a lot of pumpkins in this kit, so and a lot of orange, so I thought it might work for, for Halloween Town. And then October 15th was white cane day. So I made these little white cane uh, cards and gave them out to all of the teachers. And then I, I pinned one of these to my shirt that day. Um, so October 15th is white cane day. Um, it's blindness awareness month in October as well. So if you'd like to show your support for white cane day next year, you can wear white on white cane day. These are some happy mail that I got from Lola's Craft Journal and Kina Prince in the Hello Petite paper. 
And then this is when I journaled some pictures that I took with my Instax Mini while at Oakland Cemetery in Atlanta. And I actually really love how some of these pictures came out. They came out so good. Um, some of the best pictures I've ever taken. And this was with my Instax Mini 70. This was before I had gotten my 90. Um, I was still using, my, I broke my Instax Mini 70 when I was in the mountains in September. Um, I tripped and fell. Not, you would think when I was climbing the mountain to see the waterfall would be when I would fall. But no, I fell after we got down back off the mountain, walking through the, par the parking lot, like a few feet from my car. That's when I trip over my own feet and fall face forward and I dropped my camera um, and broke um, the back cover that holds the batteries and the film. Um, but yeah, and so I was kind of still using it at this point. So all of these really beautiful pictures from um, Oakland Cemetery, I took with my Instax Mini 70. It's kind of a, uh, a little, you can be artistic with the Instax cameras. You just kind of have to to learn how to use them and play with them um, a little bit. But uh, I really have been having a lot of fun taking pictures with my Instax mini camera. But the new 90 takes even better quality pictures. All right, now we're into November. In November, I didn't really do like a specific theme. I just had this stencil that I got from wish.com of all places. I thought it was really pretty um, and decided to kind of go with this like gold theme for November. So I used my stencil of the bird cages. Um, and then I also had this really pretty like gold paper that I got from either Michael's or Hobby Lobby um, and used that as well. And then I got this really pretty, um, the vellum. I got this really pretty acetate from a craft store as well and decided to add that in to go with the gold theme. Um, more of my planning with K for the month at a glance. As you can see, November was a busy month. Um, my master to do for personal work in YouTube. I was sticking with reading, YouTube, shopping, and ideas. And I didn't memory plan properly at all in the month of November. Um, I really liked this kit, this um, Hagrid kit that I thought really worked for the month of November. And I did two weeks um, for one spread using this Dutch door. Um, and this is where I kind of was supposed to have my overview. I was going to add some pictures there and I didn't. Uh, there's this little Dutch door and I did two weeks on one spread. because It was this like massive kit. There was so much to this kit. So I felt like using it for two weeks worked really well. This was my week three for November, which I really loved how this one came out. I really love the colors and I love this vellum that I use. This is a printable digital um, downloadable, digital downloadable, printable, you know what I'm saying. It was a printable that I got off of Etsy. I really love this one, this fashion girl. It's so pretty. Um, so I really like how this spread came out, but I feel like I didn't really memory plan as much as I should have, but it's okay. Um, this was just another really pretty, um, thankful, you know, kit that I used for, um, for Thanksgiving week. And then here are my to-do list and my decorated pages. I went with my sister and my niece and nephews to the zoo. So I added the pictures from the zoo. Didn't really journal here. I just put the pictures from the zoo in. And this, the month of November, we went basically, I'm trying to remember when we left. We left like 
I think the Saturday before Thanksgiving and then came back the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Um, but we went back to St. Augustine for a little mini anniversary trip. Our anniversary is on November 18th. So we did a little mini anniversary trip and we went on our honeymoon to St. Augustine 14 years ago. So it was the first time we were able to go back to St. Augustine and we really liked it. So these are all of my journaling pages from our trip to St. Augustine. This is the lighthouse. I didn't climb the stairs because it was raining that day and the stairs were wet and I am a klutz. Hence the me falling falling flat on my face, tripping over my feet in a parking lot. Um, <laughs> um, so I did not feel safe climbing those stairs. Um, but this was, it was decorated for Christmas. So this was the tree at the bottom of the lighthouse. It was so pretty. And then these are the spiral stairs, like, like, looking up from the bottom of the stairs, like the spiral staircase going up the lighthouse. Um, we did a lot of sightseeing. We saw the oldest house in St. Augustine. Did a lot of touring. Saw the Cathedral Basilica, um, which is free to enter. We went and saw the fort, um, the old, the cemeteries there. We went on a ghost and gravestones like ghost tour, um, and these are the views from our um, room at the B and B that we stayed at. And then these are some pictures from Thanksgiving. We did a Thanksgiving where all the adults wore face masks and we had Thanksgiving outside. So my brother-in-law, who's a pastor, they got um, tables from their church um, and just set up tables outside. And we all ate outside together. And then whenever we were inside or not eating, we wore our face masks and it felt really safe and you know, good. And one of the last days with Caitlin, she looked so happy here. Um, she was already sick at this point, but she would, you know, get super excited. She was able to like, you know, ignore how she was feeling. I left extra pages. I didn't know how much I would need for journaling and um, for the trip and for Thanksgiving. So I had some extra pages at the end of November. And then on to December. Um, this is one of the most popular themes for the year. You guys really, really loved this Harry um, Christmas at Hogwarts Harry Potter theme. Um, so basically I purchased a paper pack um, on Etsy and then kind of used the images, the clip art images from the paper pack um, to create this little um, Gryffindor common room image um on canva and then just printed it and stuck it in here um i purchased and i didn't print this i purchased this vellum on etsy um and added it in um this is from that digital clip art pack that i got on etsy and just made little stickers out of it um december I kind of gave up on <laughs> my planner in December. I did journal, but I did not use my planning pages whatsoever. So it's all blank. I didn't do anything in December, apparently. Still pretty though, just didn't get used. And once again, like I decorated and didn't use it at all. Like I really liked my Honey Dukes theme. Feels like a waste of the stickers though, since I didn't actually like use it or write anything on it or anything. So December was kind of like a fail planner wise. And I don't even want you guys to see, like I filmed this plan with me and then didn't even post it. Cause I was so embarrassed, like how bad, like, like I just like, it was so bad. Like I didn't even want you guys to know that it existed. So we'll just move on from that one. <laughs> um, these are the journaling pages. Um, Kaylin's last day with us before she passed away and then we also went to Chattanooga for just like a couple of days like we drove up on Sunday had Monday there and then came back on Tuesday before Christmas um, so I did journal our trip to Chattanooga we went to Rock City which me and my husband haven't been back to Rock City since we were children and um, so it's been like 30 years or more, um, 
because it was probably the 80s last time I was there. So these are the pictures from Rock City. And Lookout Mountain. Really, really pretty there. It was really nice. It was very cold. And this is like an abandoned like factory or mill um, that my husband looked through. Um, and then this is like the Tennessee River and the pedestrian bridge in downtown Chattanooga. Um, these are like just some pictures from like, this is one of the gifts I gave my husband. This is, my husband gave me a, a like a crochet bag for my Instax Mini. Um, he also got a stand for our wands. So it was kind of a gift for both of us. And this little, uh, you know, after all this time, always, um, little card. It looks like they actually burned the edges for real, but it came with the wand stand and I just thought it was so pretty. So I, I added it into my journal. And then these are some journaling pages and photos from uh, Christmas morning. And then I have some extra pages that I decorated that I didn't use. As you can see, I pre-decorate my journal pages in advance and, and page number everything. And that was the end. And then I had about this much of the back of the journal that I didn't use. Um, I got a new stamp set, so I was just testing it out to see how much ghosting and if there was any bleeding um, in the Stology. This was my planning for my 2021 setup. Um, I'm going to get this paper clip back on here. It fell off earlier. Um, this is just a pen test and a little place where I did a, a washi, um, sample. This is when I was practicing the little girls from the October Practical Magic themes. This is when I was practicing for that before I put it actually on the theme. And then this is another pen test, washi test page at the back. Um, this, which I probably need to take the stickers out that I have back here. Um, this was, I can't remember what shop, um, this came from, but it was like an order that I had. This is what she sent the stickers in. And I just thought it was so cute. So I added it to the back as a little folder to store, um, stickers that I wanted to use frequently. So I added that to the back. And then this was my um, card that I used for my key. And I uh, added it on with washi tape in the back like that so that I could open my journal no matter where I'm at. I could have it laying flat and see it. And this card was from that Harry Potter digital pack that I just cut, like I, I uh, cut it, I printed it smaller size because I think this page was a full like eight and a half by 11 you know page size so I just shrunk the size when I printed it and then cut it out and made just like a little card size and then these little like lock stickers which I felt like worked for you know key of course um are just from like a random sticker pack you get at like a craft store and then I printed this Hogwarts library card from an Etsy purchase where I got a library card for every Hogwarts house. Um, and then I just put like a random, like borrower's name, Tracy Fitch, borrower's house, Hufflepuff. Um, and then I put Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, Newt Scamander. Um, so return date 12, 31, 20. So I just put this little card in the back because I thought it was fitting for a Hufflepuff Harry Potter themed notebook. Um, but yeah, so that is the end of my, um, 
flip through for the second half of 2020. Um, it's a lot, I know. <laughs> um, like I said, very chunky, definitely uh, filled it up almost completely. Um, but I find it so satisfying to get to the end of a journal and have it be chunky and full. And this is a reflection of my life for the last six months. And I just, I love it. Um, this is my third one and I can't wait to add it to my collection and be able to flip back through it, you know, years from now and remember um, what 2020 was like. So I hope you enjoyed this very chatty um, flip through, probably very long uh, once we get done filming this. Um, but you guys seem to really like the chatty ones and they're the ones that get the most views. So, um, hopefully you enjoy this. If you think I should also do one where I'm just flipping through the journal and not talking while I'm doing it, then let me know in the comment section and I'd be happy to film just a flip through to music where I'm not talking to you guys. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. If you would like to see more flip throughs, then I will definitely link the playlist below for my previous flip throughs as well. Um, and of course, any of the products, I will try to link as many of them below as I can as well. Um, but if you liked this particular video, if you love flip throughs, if you love Stology, if you love bullet journals, please hit that like button. It would mean the world to me. Um, and if you would like to see more, if you would love to see more plain with me as a my Stology bullet journal, um, if you would love to see more setups, more hauls, more flip throughs, then please hit that subscribe button as well. Um, I would love to welcome you to the Savvy Charm fa Life family and love to have you um, be on this planner journey with me. So thank you guys so much for being here and thank you all. And a big thank you to my current subscribers. Um, you are becoming like family. So thank you so much for being here and, and being a part of this. So I can't wait to see you guys next time. All right. Bye.